A full uh, slate of playoff action on the hardwood. Most of the Valley teams playing outside at the RGV. We'll begin our hoops a recap in the Coastal Bend. Edinburgh North uh, taking on uh, San Antonio J. The Mustangs uh, set in the tone early on. Nice inbound play capped off by a Cameron Garza slam dunk. The Mustangs raising the roof like it's 1995. North's Osmar Alanis gives up the rock, gets it back, drives and lays it in. Good stuff from the Cougars. Now it's North guard Joseph Cruz pulling up from deep. He buries the triple. North, however, playing from behind. The Mustangs are too hard to contain. They have hops and like to show them off. Ali oop to Elijah Baldwin. San Antonio J beats Edinburgh North 61 to 46. Over in 5A, Vela taking a trip to Zapata. The district at 31 5A champions facing Laredo Nixon. The Sabrecats beat the Mustangs earlier this season. Nixon starting the game on a 5 0 run. Asiel Garza, the bucket and the foul for the Sabrecats. Next trip down the court, Nicholas Gomez over the top of the defense finds Elmer Avalar for the layup. How about a bucket from deep? Garza stepping behind the arc, part of a 10-0 run for the Vela Sabrecats. Lead is six for the Cats. Gomez trapped at the top of the key. He finds a J.P. Olivares. Matching the number on his jersey, that's a three. Vela wins a 66 to 60. The Port Isabel Tarpons clashing against a Floresville. Tarpons on the move. Quick passing leads to a layup by Jeffrey Smith later on. The P.I. shot a little too long. Tarpon guard Christian Smith driving baseline. Ball eventually gets out to his brother Jeffrey. Three ball is money. Jeffrey on the attack once again. He'll drive inside and finish with a very tough bucket for the Tarpons. P.I. keeping it close, but Floridsville comes away victorious. 45 to 38, the final score. The District 32 3 8 champion, Rio Honda Bobcats, cruised in round one. The Bobcats facing Goliad in the area round. Nice ball movement from the Cats leads to a nice layup by Kian Lopez. Crafty finish by Lopez. Coach likes that. He'll like this. Ruben Atkinson finds a wide open Charles Rodriguez. He cans the triple try. Bobcats getting in rhythm from the land of plenty. Rodriguez passing it to Atkinson who launches a rainbow. The Bobcats going back to Atkinson later on in the contest. He hits another triple. This game would go into overtime. Goliad wins 62 to 58. Santa Rosa staying right here in the Valley. The Warriors facing Falfurias in Edinburgh second quarter. They put up a triple. No good. Jakiri Castor says no worries. He collects the rebound and goes back up with it. David De La Cruz receiving the pass in the corner for the Warriors. He says, let's launch it. Nothing but nylon. Final minute of the first half. Warriors coming up with another offensive board. Randy Flores gets the second attempt to fall. 30-30 ball game at the midway point. Third quarter, Warriors have turned the ball over. That leads to a bucket for Falfurias. A jersey's a win, 63-52. to 52. Santa Maria, the only Valley team to reach round three last year, facing Johnson City. Cougars get the rebound. Fire now let pass to Luis Otero for the layup. Now it's Esaya Gracia with the rock. He gives it up to Matias Saldivar, who connects from three-point land. Cougars up 5-4. to four. Jason Aleman going coast to coast for the layup. Cougars, a third round bound. Once again, Santa Maria wins a 57 to 47. Let's take a look at some other scores. In 6A, O'Connor beats Hannah 72 to 46. Brennan routes Westlico 76 to 20 in 5A. Pioneer moved on to round three. The Diamondbacks beat Gregory Portland at 60 to 55. Corpus Christi veterans beats McAllen 77 to 56.